Okay, we're off to get some fuel now. And uh, a couple of months ago, back on Marketplace on CBC Television in Canada, they had a person that was really complaining about the fuel mileage of their new vehicle. Oh, cool. Super van. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I wish I had one of those. Anyway, getting back to my, you know, you never know what you're going to get on video. So anyway, um, the uh, guy was really complaining because he had bought a vehicle and there was the advertised fuel mileage it was supposed to get and it was getting nothing close to it. It's winter time and they were in Calgary. So I have been very displeased with the fuel mileage of our Toyota Highlander V6 2013 model four wheel drive for some time in the winter. We were getting 14 to 15 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. That sucks big time, man. I tell you, that is really poor mileage in my opinion. So we started experimenting and going to different service stations around here to find out if it made any difference. And we bought fuel at the Super Save that's we're passing by right now, Esso, uh, Shell, Petro Can, all different kinds. And we found another service station where when I fill up, we can get below 10 liters per 100 kilometers on the fuel. And like, I really do wonder if there is a difference in fuel quality, we always get the lowest grade unleaded. I think it's like 87 uh, or whatever, something like 87. So we're gonna go and fill up there now. And then when we leave, I'm gonna be filming some of the uh, fuel mileage that our vehicle gets on that fuel. And the gas station for this is in Rutland at the corner of Highway 33 and uh, Hollywood Road. Okay, we're coming up to it now. Actually, it's an Esso station. I, I don't even pay attention to a lot of, of what brand it is, except I know that the Esso gives us good fuel mileage. And uh, it's kind of ironic too, because there's another Esso I tried. That's up uh, on Highway 97, and that did not. So I don't understand any of this stuff, but I can tell you that when we fill up here, like we're gonna do now, when we leave, our mileage is gonna be really, really decent okay so we just finished filling up now the one thing is in the summertime when you get gas our uh, cruising range is generally about 570 580 kilometers I put as much into it as I could right now and our cruising range is 508 kilometers there's a cop sitting in the yes. middle of the road 23 it was 30 it was 30 a second ago now it's going down to 23.2 and 16.4 uh, this this happens when you fill up initially it shows a very high fuel consumption but it starts declining as you go along so 13.1 now and uh, this is what I was talking about that uh, I don't know why but from that 12.1 now fuel from that service station brings our mileage way way down and uh, so now we're going to see how low will it go in this one uh, stretch that we're going to travel along here. And uh, the odd thing though that I notice is that idling in the winter, the mileage goes up. It comes down when you're traveling, but if you're just sitting still, it goes up. It went up to 14.6 and uh, now it's 13.9 uh, maybe i'm different but these little things really intrigue me and i tell you that the biggest thing that we concern ourselves right now aside of clean air and health care and all these things is that our vehicle get good mileage i mean we can no longer afford the gas guzzlers you know back that they used to have in the 60s and 70s now we're down to 12.7 and uh, the speed that we're going at is a speed limit, 50 kilometers an hour, 30 miles an hour, roughly 12.2 and 11.8. Uh, anyway, you probably get the idea now that off that gas, it goes down. And I did do a video not long ago about how uh, with other fuels, fuel, it was getting uh, 15, 14 and a half, 15 liters 
per 100 kilometers. And I mean, the difference is huge, 11.1 now. 11.1, I mean, I know it's gonna go below uh, 10 because this isn't the first time we've filled up there. And uh, I've gotten very, 10.7 now, very used to filling up there because like I said, that mileage and the money we're saving is our money. So speed limit's 50 kilometers an hour. And uh, the thing is in Kelowna, man, we got a lot of speeders. One of these days I'm gonna bring the camera down because they got these speed check things along here and uh, you see so many people speeding past and uh, there's a lot of accidents, truly a lot of accidents in this town and a lot of careless drivers. Eleven point four, eleven now. It just went again. So I think by the time we get up towards Orchard Park, it should be down to close to ten, if not below a ten point eight. Ten point four. Still doing 60 kilometers an hour. Just started doing 60 kilometers an hour. 10.5. 10.2. Okay, I, I know I sound ridiculous calling it off, but uh, it, it's, it's just intriguing that, you know, when you see the fuel mileage things on cars, 9.9, .9, bingo, we've gone under 10. And uh, when you see the fuel mileage on cars, and I know that some of the magazines, like uh, uh, magazines I used to get about cars, are uh, saying that you know their official gas is this and this brand. And I'll even say it, Shell. One of the car magazines has the official gas as Shell. And I've tried the Shell, and I haven't gotten the mileage with it. So, you know, it's something that you might want to try. No matter how much you go to the same service station, if you're not happy with the mileage of your car, I highly recommend you play around at different gas stations.